tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, we're at the beginning of 2020. I'll publish, at least I try to publish weekly now, on a Tuesday or Wednesday. My favorite weekday is Tuesday, I don't know why. When you look at any kind of scene, this is not important what kind of scene this is. This is a, from a previous tutorial. It doesn't matter, really. When you look at the scene, what is this aspect ratio here? Is it 4 by 3? I don't know. And if you click here, when you click here, is it 16 by 9? And when you press Control a it's getting smaller here because the attribute editor is getting inside. When you press Control a again, you get the channel box here. So this is changing the size all the time. The problem is that you need to render things sooner or later. If you just model, you don't have to care about this. This is a typical application for such a task you need to know exactly what format you're rendering because in this example here you see three picture elements which I put together. One is a photograph of this room here. The second one is the background which is a completely different image which I just pasted in there and adjusted to it. There's no problem in adjusting that or the trees and the, and the, the sky. Uh, back there I blurred them slightly but uh, the tricky thing is this person and the sofa I rendered these things and um, this is the scene this is the original photo of the room this is the landscape here Susan P4 made this room for photograph and the landscape is uh, done by NJ Lech and this is what I rendered and in order to put it into that composition, it's called a composite really, uh, I needed to know exactly the dimensions of this picture here. Because uh, otherwise this uh, man with the sofa would have been too small or sitting there or whatever. So in all these cases you need to know the format you're rendering. And there are two things which you might keep in mind. First of all, when you find a nice aspect, for example, this one here, you create a new camera from that view. You go to view and create a camera from the view. Now I open the outliner because there are lots of things because uh, of the curves, etc. Don't get confused here. This is our new camera. You see perspective one. When you call this my great cam, then you see migrate cam down here. Once you have this camera here, you need to define the area you're rendering. And if you have a background image for later compositing, which an artist uh, provides you with, you measure that picture, or somebody tells you it's gonna be for a 35 millimeter film, and uh, you need uh, this or that aspect, then you need to consider this. And there are two things to keep in mind. One is when you go to the camera settings here in the attribute editor, you see something which is called the film aspect ratio. It's currently set to 1.5. Uh, that means 36 by 24, for example, or if you type in here 16 by 9, all of a sudden this camera jumps somewhere else here. 16 by 9 is another dimension here. The film aspect ratio now is 1.78. That's a typical film format, which we have. The 1080, for example, is such a thing. But we still don't see what we're going to render, because when you open or close this, the image um, gets bigger or smaller. And uh, usually we don't fiddle with this here. We just fiddle with this here. These are the render settings. When you have a look here, the width is 1280 by 720 now. When you change this, you can change this here to 1080, for example. We'll do this in a second. And uh, But we need to see this somewhere here. And that's what we need to do by, I think you can click somewhere here, but I usually access it through View, Camera Settings, 
And in the camera settings, I see the resolution gate. It's just below the film gate. Let's ignore the film gate for now because the resolution gate is what we actually render. By the way, this is the film gate. It uh, belongs to real world cameras. This photograph is in the Wikimedia Commons and it uh, was uh, uh, taken in 2014 by Lukas Bosch. Thank you, Lukas, for taking this beautiful photograph. And when I zoom in, this is the film gate. In analog cameras, you would have had the film going from this way to this way, and uh, this would cut out a certain part of that typically 35 millimeter film. In nowadays, the chip, the uh, sensor is behind there, and this is exactly the part where the light comes in. That's the film gate. So currently it's 1280 by 720. That's what you see here. And uh, we're going to render this aspect here in my great camera shape. And when you zoom in or out here, you see exactly this aspect here. It's rendering exactly what you see here. Now, sometimes you want more space here. Do you want to see more? That's why I go back to view camera settings and you go down to fill, horizontal, vertical or overscan. Let's fill it vertically. When you minimize this or just move it to the left, the outliner, we get this uh, aspect here and it always stays the same. When we press Ctrl A, we still get the same. That's what we're going to render. So when somebody gives you an image like this, you need to first ask, what is the size? What are the dimensions? Do we actually need the whole picture or just a 16 by 9 format? This is definitely not 16 by 9. Uh, what do we need for the final output? And once you know this, you go to the render settings and adjust that. And like always, I wish you a very, very, very good day. Bye-bye.